Hello and welcome to Patristic Nectar Kids. We're so happy you're here again with us. And we have a special book today for the upcoming Feast of Ascension that we're celebrating. So we have a sad part to say goodbye to our Paschal season, but the joy of the coming feasts is upon us. So it's Ascension and then we have Pentecost. And so today we have a very special treat for you. A dear friend of mine, uh, Ahuria Prasitera Gigi, is going to be joining us for Patristic Nectar Kids today and teaching us how to sing the Troparian for Ascension. So I'm going to throw it over to you, Gigi, and have you go ahead and teach us the Troparian for Ascension. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Miss Gigi. And today we are going to sing two special songs for the Feast of the Ascension of Christ. The first one is the Troparion of the Feast, which is a special church hymn. And the second one is an original song to teach you guys about this feast. So you have to sing along with me. I'm actually in church right now. This beautiful icon behind me is in the back of the church. So we're gonna sing the Feast Day Hymn of the Ascension. Thou hast ascended in glory, O Christ our God, and gladden thy disciples with the promise of the Holy Spirit. Having become confident of the blessing, verily thou art the Son of God and deliverer of our souls. The second song is a repeat after me song. So I want you to listen carefully and do the hand motions with me, okay? You see how Jesus is going up, up, up into heaven? And that's what the name of this song is. So show me up, up, up into heaven, ready? Going up, up, up into heaven, going up, up, up into heaven, gonna ride that cloud on up into heaven from the Mount of Olives, he's going up to heaven. From the Mount of Olives, he's going up to heaven. Going up, up, up in heaven. Going up, up, up in heaven. Gonna ride that cloud on up in heaven. From the Mount of Olives, he's going up to heaven. From the Mount of Olives, he's going up to heaven. He rose from the dead, he rose from the dead, just like the Bible said, just like the Bible said. And after 40 days, after 40 days, he ascended like a blaze, ascended like a blaze, going up, up, up in the heaven, going up, up, up in the heaven, gonna ride the cloud on up in the heaven from the mouth of olives, he's going up to heaven. From the Mount of Olives, he's going up to heaven. His mother was there, his mother was there, with her arms raised in prayer, her arms raised in prayer. And John and Peter too, and John and Peter too, angels carrying him through, carrying him through. Going up, up, up in the heaven, going up, up, up in the heaven, gonna ride the cloud on up. In the heaven, from the Mount of Olives, he's going up to heaven. From the Mount of Olives, he's going up to heaven. He's coming back aloud, he's coming back aloud. Down from heaven on a cloud, from heaven on a cloud. So be ready, one and all, be ready, one and all. Get back up when you fall, back up when you fall. Going up, up. Up in the heaven, going up, up, up in the heaven, gonna ride that cloud on up in the heaven from the Mount of Olives, he's going up to heaven. From the Mount of Olives, he's going up to heaven. Good job! I love hearing you sing along with me. Thank you guys for singing along. I hope you enjoy this blessed feast. Have a great day! Thank you, Gigi. That was wonderful. We are so happy to have learned the Troparian and we can practice it and sing it in our churches, in our homes, in our rule of prayer. And 
when we're driving in the car and all those things to keep the joy of the feast. So I'm going to read to you one of our special books by Mother Melania. And you can get these. You can look online and get these from Mother Melania. Um, she wrote this one when she was a sister and before she was an abbot, abbess. And her, um, the, it's published by Conciliar Press. So if you go on there, I'm sure you can find her beautiful books on the feasts. Okay. So this one's The Ascension of Our Lord. So let's get settled and let's get ready to hear this beautiful poem. Be glad today for Christ our King returns to God and with him brings our human nature shining bright with his divine eternal light. What man is this, the angels say, who enters heaven's gates today? In awe they hear the glad reply, our Lord is he, yes, God most high. How mighty is this mystery, the Son of God who chose to be a man now lifts humanity above the angels. Great is he. Now heaven's gates are open wide for Christ who men have crucified. As God, he never left his throne. As man, he makes our life his own. The Lord's disciples stand and gaze as Christ, whom heaven's angels praise, goes up to heaven's heights where he is king for all eternity. O holy master, do not leave thy servants who in thee believe. His friends and mother plead, for we have pled our hope. I place our hope and joy in thee. But on the promise we depend, and so we ask thee, Lord, to send thy spirit, as thou once did say, to lead us safely in thy way. And then they hear an angel's cry. Why gaze you up into the sky? For as Christ left, he'll come again. And so be glad, ye sons of men. Be glad, for from the flames of hell, Christ rescues Adam's race, which fell. And in his mercy and great might, he raises us to heaven's height. Be glad, be glad, I say again, for God has joined himself to men. He shares in our humanity to give us his divinity. And that's the poem for the Feast of Ascension. Happy Feast. I hope you enjoy the, this blessed day and keep the joy of the feast in your heart all week and that you can practice the song that our Gigi taught you and, and sing it to your parents and sing it to your priest and, and sing it with joy. And remember that the, the beauty of Ascension is that God became man and took on our humanity, right? And when he ascended to heaven, he took our human flesh, the, this body that we have, he also assumed, right? And took, and he took it all the way to the throne of heaven. And so we have hope that that's where also we will be. And those that we love who've gone before us, who trusted in Christ Jesus will also be. Okay, thanks for being with us. And we'll look forward to seeing you again. Come back to Patricia Nectar Kids. Thank you, Gigi. Patristic Nectar Publications is pleased to present Enduring Love, Laying Christian Foundations for Marriage. Marriage preparation, together with the sacred institution itself, has fallen on hard times in the post-Christian West. It is more important than ever for couples to saturate their hearts and minds with the glorious vision of holy matrimony presented by the church in holy tradition and lived by countless saints. Here in these pages, couples will find inspired teaching from the Holy Scriptures, the writings of the Holy Fathers, 
and the service text of the sacrament itself on how to live in a genuinely Christian marriage in which the home becomes a domestic church. Through enduring love, may God inspire the hearts of those preparing to be married and also those already married who would like to deepen their union and render it more pleasing to God. Available now at Amazon and Barnes & Noble.